Hello everyone, I just have a few projects to share with you today. This is my um, my swap package for Sonia Steptoe's birthday swap that she is hosting. Thank you so much Sonia. This was such a lot of fun to do and I hope my partner, who shall not be named, likes what I've put together for her. Uh, in this swap we had to make uh, five items. We had to uh, we had to make five items and then add three goodies to the package as well. You know, three crafting items that that person may be able to use. So I've packaged my swap up in this gorgeous little tin. And it is a tin. I found it at the op shop, which is a thrift store. Um, and it was $1.50. And as you can see, it's got beautiful little polka dots and it is a tin. I did cover the top of it and the bottom and inside because it had a an, a label on it. It was a nail kit of some kind from England but I love the actual look and I love the colour of the outside and it, was, it went with the papers that I was using so beautifully which are uh, the Divine Collection by Prima. Uh, I think that's I have two Prima papers and that's one of them and I wanted to use it. They're so soft and pretty. Plus Kerry sent me some beautiful pink things and I wanted to use them because they were sat here staring at me and so I hope my partner really likes the pink. And the actual tin is decorated in mostly goodies from Shabalicious, who I DT for, uh, which is Lily's lovely store on Zibbit. As you can see, I have just put a piece of the paper on the top there. And I've gone around the edge with this beautiful lace from Lily's store. And I just put it around and gathered it on the corners. I've put one of her beautiful butterflies on the top there. And a couple of the leaves from this beautiful tassel trim leaf trim that she has. I cut a couple out and put them there with, along with a paper flower, uh, a little applique piece and a satin rose. Um, this is a flower that Louisa sent me. Thank you, Louisa. There's some love heart doodads going down the center of the butterfly's body there. Uh, this is a little, um, it's, a, it's a pretty flower that Kerry sent me in our swap and I cut it in half and put half there, it was ever so pretty, and half here and I'll actually show you because it is a beautiful little flower. It's ever so delicate and pretty and that's the cat wanting to come and join me. Um, what else do we have? We have some beautiful iridescent, well, like pearlized leaves around and doodad flowers that I love using. This gorgeous frame that Lele sells and she's actually painted it up herself and it's ever so beautiful and I've just put a little spread your wings inside of it with a heart and a doodad flower. A bit of music paper, more flowers. I've just changed this up a bit. This was one of her um, flowers I took the center out put it under here but it was a bit too big so I put the outer layer here with some of these beautiful little um, like blossom centers inside and just because I do DT for Lily I'm just going to say please go over if you're interested in being a design team member for her store she has a DT call on at the moment um, and it would be lovely if you went and paid her a visit. I'll put a link to it below. Um, around this side I have pearl trim here because I had the pearls out. And of course if they're out I'm going to use them. And along the bottom. Just keeping it simple but pretty. And I love it. I really do. I love this little tin. The only drawback with the little tin was that it had a plastic handle. And trying to cover that plastic handle and make it look half decent was not an easy task so to my partner gosh you know if it chips off um, do what you will with it the lock does work of course up we go there but 
it's it's going to scratch that off the metal. It's just that it was a little bit beaten around in certain places. There was a little bit of rust showing through in certain places, like under here, and um, that's why I put the beading there. And you know, we do what we can, but it's still very pretty. And it's not something you're going to open and close an awful lot. I mean, you can leave the lock open. You really don't have to have it locked if it's there. A little bit of trim along the lock there because you can't really put anything under the handle part because that has to move. And that was, I'm pretty sure that was from Louisa in one of her packages she sent to me. Thank you so much, Louisa. And I've given all this a bit of a, you know, um, texture finish. So there we go. So the items. I think I've covered everything then. The items that I've made for her are inside. Oh, of course, there's a butterfly here. That was from Lele. I'm not quite sure if she still sells these in her store there, but it was from Lily. Okay, so the items are inside. And I've especially packaged them all in here to keep it nice and compact. And I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. It's not perfect, but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So let's show you the lid. There we go. We have some more of the Prima paper on the top there. I've painted the tin... I may have to go over it a bit more. I hate that that tackiness that Gesso leaves, so I will go over that, I think. I've put two of these lovely cards, and I'm quite sure they were from Louisa as well. I've just glittered around the edge. I also glittered around the edge of the top. A little bit of wedding applique from Lily's store, and one of her gorgeous, I think that's a hibiscus flower there. Um, there's two different colour tones of pink, as you may notice. There's this musky soft pink, a little bit brighter pink, because basically that's what I have. But I think it works well together. It's not offensive or anything like that. Inside, we have our items. Now, I've set them out in here, and I really hope my partner likes them. You know, they're, they're pretty, and I think they're pretty across the board easy on the eye. So our first, we'll go for our first, our first item is an altered pen and this is what I've done. I've done a lovely altered pen with a handmade flower that I've put together and this gorgeous, gorgeous bling in the center and I'm pretty sure June sent me that but I, you know, I'm, When I put things away, sometimes the tags aren't always there. But, you know, if you send me that, thank you so much. It works wonderfully. Some eyelash lace from Kerry and also the beautiful lace. I used a lot of the things that Kerry sent me in this because it was sat right next to me and it was all pink. This is more paper from the Prima range. And as you can see, we, you know, it's slightly different shades, but it really works well together. And I've put some, I've made a little flower with her lace here. I've put one of these metal white flowers from Lele's store underneath. I have some lace here. I have some mesh bling and I burnt the edges so we got rid of all the shaggy bits and there's some very um, small pink pearl trim under that. For the clasp here I've just put some pearl, uh, mesh bling, and as you can see, I got rid of all the shaggy edges on that mesh bling down there. On the other end, I've just put a little bit of lace and some more mesh bling, and I didn't overdo it because, you know, we want the pen to be usable, and we have to be able to hold the pen, and if it's full of everything, you can't use it. I have to admit, it is a little bit heavy. This bling is a bit heavy, but it does work, and to my partner, all you have to do is twist the end and the pen comes out. Twist it back and it goes back. If you twist it the other way you can reload the cartridge and because it's a cartridge pen what I did was I went and bought you a little box of cartridge refills and just decorated that box for you and but on the other side it tells you exactly what they are so you can buy more but there's four refills in this box for this pen and my partner is Australian so hopefully she will be able to get more refills 
so there we go it's a nice pen and it is very usable we had to do an altered bottle no bigger than 10 centimeters I haven't filled mine yet but I will um, this is a salt shaker and I thought it was lovely I love the the shape of it. it's got that square shape going for it this is the lace from Kerry thank you Kerry the lace from Louisa some lovely little white uh, flowers from I think I'm mad about scrapping uh, pink flowers white flowers some tiny little um, tiny weeny little flowers Louisa sent me there lovely little pink bow and a tiny sparkle in the center around the top we have this sweet little lace and then some more mesh bling with all the edges burnt and a tiny little I think they're forget-me-nots I'm not quite sure a tiny little bit of glitter on some of the things too and honestly I don't think the bottle needed anything more than that and I will fill that with some goodies for my partner and that's one thing as you can see this box has special little compartments set out and as I take them out you will see this is my altered zipper <sighs> I am zipper deficient is that the word <laughs> I will never probably do another zipper in my whole life I had not a good time with my zipper. I wanted to keep it in pink, but I couldn't find a pink zipper with, you know, the metal um, teeth. So I've used this nylon zipper, I think they're called. And then it came out a bit wonky, so I ended up putting this beautiful butterfly. And the butterfly is actually from... Now I, I put it here so I wouldn't forget... Geraldine who is little snippets and look how precious that butterfly is and I just sparkled the edges a little bit and it's so precious I put a little bit more of the pink pearl trim down the center gee I hope you got a good shot of that because light looks a bit bright doesn't it it's a beautiful little butterfly I actually the zipper is all one piece I did not cut it up I I did it in one piece and that's probably where I went wrong I should have just cut it in pieces and made a flower but I did it as one but there's the end that I left on and you can see it's got the zipper pull and on the zipper pull I put a little a dangle down there and I have put a hanger on it but of course my partner is quite welcome to cut that off and use it on a project if they want to to neaten it I've just put a doily on the back One of the other things that we were asked to make was an altered cotton reel. And here's my wooden cotton reel, which I really love the shape of. Some more of that beautiful lace and pink pearl trim with the mesh bling in the center. A little bit of pink ribbon underneath, right in the center, which is very hard to see. But I wanted to keep the beauty of the wood visible. On top, I have this tiny little doily center from Louisa and this lovely little mesh flower and I've made a little note holder that I've stuck in the center and put this lovely image of the bird on it but of course my partner can just simply take that off and, and insert her own note if she likes and I just made that note holder out of my trusty old um, Hazel sends me these gorgeous um, pearl wreaths and when I'm finished with them I end up with these wire and they're usually a circle and I, what I did this time was I just cut it in half and underneath it has like a paper mache and I stripped it because I don't really have wire and it left me with the perfect size wire to make the note holder so I use that so Hazel thank you once again <laughs> the gift that just keeps on giving isn't it <laughs> um, <laughs> 
so that's my altered cotton reel and I'm still debating whether to put a metal weight underneath there. It does, it stands very easily because I mean it's only holding a paper weight so you know I probably don't need to do anything. And as I was saying the base of this I've used, I've used some of this polystyrene foam and what I did was I put a layer in but then I, I built it up in certain places because I knew my pen was going to need this so of course it needs the gully here so that sits there quite nicely and then we have our bottle and that's going to go in that little slot here I have my little note holder which can go there but of course I didn't want it rolling around so I put a little ridge in here as well and I covered it all with satin first and then adjusted it how it needed to be done and then when I was happy with it I covered it in a layer of this lovely lace that Louisa sent me. Thank you Louisa and then of course my little flower will sit up the top here to finish it off and it all fits in there very snugly and I just realized I am missing one thing <sighs> and it's the dreaded card so I'm sorry I can't show you my card um, I need to send this off tomorrow at the latest the next day but I will have to make a card because that was one of the items. There were five items, a cotton reel, bottle, a pen, a zipper and a card and then three little craft items to enclose with it. We also had to make a special gift, a surprise gift for our partner. Now I did make a surprise gift but it's not in the same colour scheme because this was something that I was sent and I wanted to use it um, and unfortunately it's not the same colour scheme but I am quite happy with it anyway and it is Louisa sent me all the mason jar cutouts like um, chipboard and paper cutouts and so I've made this little lace holder for my partner and basically I just sort of made it up as I was going along um, that's the front of it and I don't know what paper it is that is on this because Louisa sent me this paper and that is the mason jar on the front and as you can see and then there's it's a bit wider at the front because I used another ma mason jar behind it but I cut it down the middle and separated it so it would frame it because it has to, the front and back have to be bigger than all the cutouts inside so that it will hold it. Just a, a strip of paper that I found that closely matched what the paper looked like and um, that was it. So I'll just show you what's inside. I'm not going to show you how to do it. I think it's quite self-explanatory. Just, you know, concertina paper down each side bit of chipboard at the bottom and the mason jars inside and I've just made these little jars and filled them with small lace because you know they can't take up a lot of room but it was a lot of fun to do and I'm quite pleased with how it turned out and I know the lady I'm sending to does like a bit of colour so um, I'm hoping that she likes this little gift that I've put together for her. So there you can see how it's made. The inside's just wide. A little bit of uh, the Tim Holtz ink around the top. I think it's wild honey and it's probably not my colour of choice but I only have three of them. And One's black, one is uh, antique linen which wouldn't even be noticeable on this and this is wild honey so I, I went with what I thought would be best and I, I don't think it looks too bad at all it's, it's quite nice and just a little cluster of flowers on the front and the seam binding just going all the way around just to hold it together because of course these concertinas do like to pop out a little bit so yeah okay so that is 
what I've made for Sonia Steptoe's birthday swap and I really do appreciate Sonia hosting this swap. I'm sure it was quite a lot of work for her to put together um, but everybody does appreciate that work. Thank you so much Sonia and um, let's hope there are many more in the future and I hope my partner likes my Oops, showing all my mess behind there now, aren't I? I've been very busy. Um, I hope my partner does like the things that I've made. And of course I still have to make her a card. So thank you for joining me today. And do go pay Sonia a visit. Um, she's a lovely lady and um, I'm sure you would enjoy her videos and don't forget Lily's lovely DT call that she has on there anybody can enter from anywhere around the world and she does sell beautiful products I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for joining me again today bye bye everyone